This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Melissa Curtis of 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. A Nebraska-based voting machine company has told the Republican hired attorney leading an investigation into the 2020 presidential election in Wisconsin that it will not comply with subpoenas issued seeking a broad array of information. Attorneys for election systems and software told former Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice Michael Gableman in a letter that it would not comply, calling the subpoenas issued last month a fishing expedition. The letter was obtained by the Associated Press today. Major cell phone carriers are boasting higher speeds thanks in part to the new 5G rollout, but they're also set to phase out 3G networks this year, meaning many older cell phones will become obsolete. Older cell phones, some car navigation and emergency services, home security systems, and even some medical devices like emergency alert pendants might be useless without taking action. If you have a 3G device, consider upgrading now or contact your providers. Some important deadlines to keep in mind. AT&T shuts down 3G next month, T-Mobile by July, and Verizon by the end of the year. And I'm 3 News Now, meteorologist Chris Swain. Temperatures drop back to 10 degrees as we head into early Friday morning. It's a cold start to the day, yes, uh, and certainly colder than where we were early Thursday morning. So a bit of a readjustment back to the cold pattern for the short term. High temperatures still manage to hit the mid-30s. We will start off with cloud cover, but get back to sunshine by the second half of the day. A little bit of melting and near average for this time of year. But the warm-up returns full force on Saturday and Sunday. We're talking 40s. And then some on Monday, 50s. It's short lived. As we head into February, the first couple of days could feature a more impactful system, one that could bring rain with a changeover to some snow. There are still a lot of details that need to be ironed out on this system. But the potential is there. It's one we're watching very closely. Call this an early heads up, but please check back for updates. We will know more by the weekend and in the next weekend.